Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another session here for a channeled message with your girl, Lati, here at Tears and Week to Row. Yeah. Go ahead and jump into some cards this morning. We already pulled out uh, some mindful messages. I don't think I uploaded it here. I think I put it on Facebook. So you want to go over there to Tear, no S, and Week to Row on Facebook. You can check that morning message out. Otherwise, uh, yeah, just stay on right here. We got plenty of messages, you know. We really just asking people in Facebook land to come on over here, you know what I mean, and check these messages out. So I hope you guys have had a great, great start to the day and that your rising has definitely been grand. You took a little bit of time to meditate in the spirit. Speak to your team, you know, those other spirits that live inside of you and activate you know whatever those you call them spirits attributes characteristics help whatever you name it you know i say spirits that's what they call to me you know so spirit gave us this one and it is my favorite we talk about it all the time damn we are the joy y'all absolutely activate your joy expand your joy what can you do today to kind of be more joyous and bring joy into the situation and see that there's always an opportunity to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mysticism. How are you going to work your magic today? Right? How are you going to work your magic? Are you a mystery? Huh? Are you discovering the mysteries of life itself? Are you still on this journey to discover again who you are? You know, again, you being the mystery, are you on that path to self-discovery? We've been doing a couple of good sessions. You know, we've been led, you know, just in the spirit as the spirit speaks to me and lead me to uh, give, give the information um, out to you all as to help us do that. You know, not necessarily just from one perspective, but just, you know, something for you to consider. Um, all the way around. So just consider it. We it's up to you to consider terms. I feel like it's just uh not doing what it's supposed to do. There we go. I can't see. Can you see me? All right now. All right. Yes. So we got joy and mysticism. Or maybe your it's a mystery on how you reach your joy. Ooh, is somebody having a blockage in their experience of joy? Like there it's a mystery, like what makes them feel joyous and fulfilled and you know, just really full and overjoyed, overflowing, right? That's what I feel spirit is saying too, like for somebody out there that if they really don't know how to dig into that joy, how to expand it, how to figure out what it is that makes me feel full, right? And I say meditate in the spirit, just meditate. It'll, you'll get ideas and, you know, inspiration will come to you on things to do and how you can move that might be exciting, you know, whatever it is, give it a try. Mm. Spirit says creation. Yes, that's true. Creation. You have the ability to create your joy on a daily basis. You have ability to do things and make decisions that would make joy more present in your life, right? To honor joy in your life. The joy is there. You know, it's probably just covered up with a whole bunch of other stuff. Those tears and stuff like that. We got to get them layers off, y'all. We got to take them layers off. So you can create and feel your joy. It's not, you know, well, maybe it is a mystery to you right now. And if it is a mystery, then you just go inside. Yes, yeah, spirit says go inside and meditate and sit and see what it is that speaks to you and resonates with you. Ooh, this one right here. Self-worth. All right, y'all. Do you know that you are worth your joy? Like your your joy, you like you deserve that. Like it's with you. Like you're you're deserving. Yeah, we're done. Done. Okay, thank you. You are deserving of joy and, and, and peace and all of the things that are wrapped up in that, right? In that cup that joy sits in, in that room. But we got to do that work of getting all that negativity and low vibrational frequency out. Like we say all the time, you know, joy and resentment and bitterness don't live in the same room, y'all. We got to get joy its own space, you know? So let joy live in you. And and because, well, joy does live in you, but you got to give it some room. You got to get all that stuff out. You got to, you know, unpack this stuff and release it, the negativity. Yes. So that we can experience joy more fully. So it won't be a mystery to us. Like we, we'll be walking with this thing so close every day. It's like, you know, that's what we're going to do. 
you know, because it's, it's, it's still early enough before we have to, because I live on the East Coast and work on, on the West Coast time. Yeah. It calls for a late evening, but it calls for a late start to the morning. I could, I got time. I could go throw some skates on and get a little morning groove in and get that body. I don't care about going to go take another, you know, we can get moving. All right, let's go ahead on. It's going to be, we want to get a mindful message. Spear, where did you want to go? Spear says, uh, we're going to talk to Ariel. Yeah. We got a message here in the area. Our angel Ariel Oracle deck. Ooh, Spirit, thank you so much for bringing a message, y'all. Hey, I hope y'all are doing wonderful this morning. I really, really do. We got joy, discovering joy that it shouldn't be a mystery to you. Go on in there and get that inspiration from your own self and see what it is that your self says to you. So, we would like to go do this today. All right, then. Let's get the organization power of the universe to come help us make that thing happen there. Yes. Yes, yes, we will. Hmm. Y'all, look. I know these cards is weird with this here gloss on them. You can't hardly see the whole thing. Might have to find another deck that don't have the gloss. It says clear audience. We just said listen to yourself, right? Because you know what your joy is is you know what your spirit of joy wants to do you know what your uh yeah what's gonna feel good in your body you know you do you just have to go in there and meditate and sit in the space and listen so spirit says notice the love and guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people yeah inside your mind will lead you to uh those things that bring you joy that that reveals and unlocks unlocks the mysteries of you. Yeah, that that uh, help you to create and it may be a create leading to creating a feeling of self-worth and deservingness, right? Knowing that you are deserving of the goodness and the joy that's in your life. And sometimes when we don't realize that we we are deserving of that joy, that um we do things that sabotage it and push it away. Like we diminish it and then ourselves to fit in and and fitting in with what you may ask yeah your environment sometimes maybe you are surrounded by people who are not happy and if you have happiness and joy you may feel guilty about that about being joyous around the people who are not you know and uh you want this one yeah we're gonna sit with it um yeah so knowing that you you like you're built with joy like that 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 spirit to enjoy life is in you like that desire that wants to just to lean into the happiness like to see the goodness the higher self that higher self to rise above and to experience those high vibrational frequencies again being on the upper scale of uh sympathy and empathy compassion and understanding you know all those things that lead us to the path of wisdom which is the path to peace, right? And we know that joy is definitely in the path of peace. Joy is in wisdom. So to be joyous is a place where we can activate that light and call in those miracles and, and really stand in a place of uh, uh, belief. Yeah, like that innocent child kind of like spirit. Yeah, well, you just believe. Spiritual understanding. I don't know, spirit this morning. Can y'all see that? Spiritual understanding. There we go. There we go. Get that in there for the peeps, for the weed. I am bringing you hysteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Yes. Yes. We're on a walk here on a soul journey, right? And as we move through this plane and this of self-discovery and learning ourselves and learning source, you know, who we are in source and who we are to each other and how this whole thing is connected. Yeah, spiritual understanding is definitely, I mean, that's what we're here. That is the purpose, to get that understanding and then to serve that out onto uh, ourselves and onto other selves and out to the, the source itself. Like we, we do land into this collective space that we are in and that edifies the source of all things. Yes, it does. Anything else? This one. Courage. Courage. Yeah, bring that into focus. Courage. 
Thank you, Spirit, for helping me with this card. Archangel Ariel, be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Absolutely. Beliefs, stand up for your beliefs, self-worth. Absolutely. All the same, mysticism, spiritual understanding with clear audience, listening to loving guidance, joy in creation, self. I mean, they just go together, you know? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Because having the courage and to stand up for your beliefs, that definitely stand, that shows your self-worth. It illustrates that. Thank you so much for the messages. Yes, thank you for the messages. Anything else? Yes? No? No? We're good? That's it? Okay. Spirit says that's it. So have the courage, people. Have the courage to stand up for yourself. Know that you are worth the joy that you experience. Don't come across against yourself and sabotage the joy that you are, you're, you're having brought into your life, right? If you're attracting that joy, you're living it from the inside and you're attracting it in, then definitely you, you accept it. It's not a mystery that you're doing this, that you can call in your joy, that you can you can sit in your peace at any time that is with you, that you wield these powers. You know, you are a light worker and whether you want to, you know, be high vibrational, or low vibrational is up to you. But um, I'm just calling you to rise above we because I'm telling you who you are. You know that you are a powerful person, that your words hold weight. Everything that you speak out your mouth, the, the universe listens to. You know, so if you speak yourself in them I am statements like I am right now, I am joyous, I am abundant. Oh, yes, I am successful. You know, I am the conqueror of this day. You know, I am fully equipped and ready to go to meet the day, you know, and I am prepared to take on any challenges that might present itself because we already know that the tears is coming, baby. They coming. But guess what? The solution, that testimony is inside the tear already. Yeah, it is. So I face every tear knowing that I'm an overcomer because I'm an overcomer. That's what just is what it is. We're going to get through this thing. So uh, I look at them to see what they're projecting back at me and what I need to pull out for my edification. And I do this here thing right here so you can do the same. So until the next time on Tears and Week to Roll, when we look at those tears and see how they project back to you so that you can be good because you're called for good bread. Mm. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love you just like I love me. Until the next time, I say.